What is that? Yo, what's good everyone? We are back to the channel. I realize it's been a minute to the five of you watching, but we are here to discuss anime. And I'm gonna be talking about basically all the anime that I've seen from winter of 2021 to fall, and also the ones that are airing winter 2022. But since they started airing in 2021, I'm gonna be talking about those because they aired in 2021. All right? So we're gonna make these quick and I might talk about some in-depth details about the show. Uh, so if you haven't seen it, I'll leave a timestamp in the description below so that you guys can like s switch around the video in case you guys don't want to be potentially spoiled. All right, let's get started. First anime, AOT season four, all right? MAPPA, they got a hold of anime in season four. And while a lot of people didn't enjoy it, I did. The the people who didn't enjoy it were like a very like m m minority. Damn, I really stuttered. They're a minority, all right? I'm not talking about race. And they didn't like it cause you know, obviously like the CG aspect of it, they, they preferred like Wits style of animating that. Uh, and doing CG because they think Mappa didn't do it, but I personally, CG doesn't really bother me like that much. I'm not that snobby to like worry about the CG and stuff like that. I'm not saying you're snobby if you care about the CG, that's all on you. But they did a good enough job for me as someone who doesn't really, um, ex I'm not really an expert in that sort of stuff. So I did not really have any strong emotions towards that. Um, but I enjoyed season four, obviously the story, the voice acting, obviously, it was up to par. The same voice actors. We got a few good uh, extra voice actors for the season four characters, like Peak and like what? Well, Peak was season three, but like the new season four characters on the other side. And it was great. It was great. We got a great, um, we got great emotions. Every episode, you could feel the depth uh, of the characters. You could feel the emotions. The pacing, obviously, was, was great because it was like a seasonal one core, sh uh, one core, right now. And uh, they left us on a cliffhanger, although it could have been a worse cliffhanger because I'm a manga reader. So I, I think they could have gone worse, if you know what I mean. All right. So scene four, we're already, you know, that shit was goaded. Uh, nine out of ten, ten out of ten up there. It's up there. All right. It's up there. And scene four, part two. I'm going to be excited to see how the community feels about the ending. I'm not going to talk about that. I'm just excited to see it. What it is i'm not trying to hint anything but it's gonna be interesting and i think everything is gonna be amazing as mappa does mappa's killing it so yeah that was a great season and i loved alt season four next anime hori mia hori mia Ooh, that's a tough one so uh i was watching this while it's airing and i'm not a manga reader uh there's a lot of other manga readers uh, that weren't too happy with how it was released, but we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about my opinion, and my opinion kind of is kind of similar to theirs. You know, um, where should I start? So the beginning of the show, all right, we had great characters. I loved how we didn't take much long to do the, the whole cliche of like, uh, uh, like the main two uh, characters getting together. That was great. They got together pretty fast the animation was beautiful the ost was great but the events that were skipped from the manga i could tell it was very rushed all right as horror me season one that's like the entire show all right that's the entire show so um they basically covered the entire manga and they skipped a lot of it so you didn't really see a lot of character development from the characters and character relationships really growing so it was a bit awkward like like during like episode seven eight like some characters they would interact like when they would interact with each other you're like uh i don't really they like last episode they weren't really like friends like that so how, how what happened like this is so sudden it was such su sudden develop developments like during like the latter half of the season but other than that it was a really put well put together show 
only if they had more time to like you know uh develop and flesh out the characters like within the anime and like include like scenes that scenes that were skipped from the manga into the anime um and like made like a two core or like a two seasons of a show then it could have been much better but hori mia i'd probably give that like a it was a solid 7.5 or something 7.5 it was a solid show um but obviously during nearing the end it was getting clunky mushoku tensei all right i f love mushoku tensei all right it felt like it's been so long since like part one of the season came out but no both of these parts came out in uh 2021 what was what was that uh both parts came in 2021 oh my god and i love this show i love it i started watching it personally uh when like the last episode of the first core aired like episode 11 and oh my god i love this show from episode 1 to 11 it felt so natural the characters they were so they had such real characteristics there was such good development from core one to core two of like Eris and rudy's characters like these two specifically they had great developments and we also had like great mini uh arcs and mini mini character arcs with like paul and like it was great i fucking loved it the animation was amazing i can't gush about the show enough obviously it's not for everyone because there's you know some questionable was because it's, it's not for like everyone like if you're not really that into anime if you might see this show and think like that's kind of weird but um if you could get past like those scenes uh, and like really think uh, about the show with a clear mind and clear mindset then you, or you would love the show honestly you would love it it's kind of similar to monogatari in that sense um but bro i f love this show the development of the characters the emotions story it's a fucking amazing isekai even if you don't love the love isekais this show you should check it out all right honestly this show so far it's like a 9.5 out of 10 for me all right second core amazing first core amazing i personally prefer the second core but needless to say this show is phenomenal i'm sure you guys a lot of you guys agree with me <sighs> next the promised neverland season two dr stone season two now dr stone season one was great it was a great start to the story it was such an interesting premise uh i love the you know development of the characters and the fleshing out of the story it was great and then season two came around and like got resolved kind of too quickly i don't know if i'm the only one but this like war that they had it felt like everything felt in fell in place so like perfectly that it didn't really feel like much of a challenge for like the characters and i was kind of disappointed by that um obviously like the animation and stuff like that they were up to par uh with like season one but those other dips in quality of the story uh really felt flat for me uh in terms of like the season the last like two or three episodes were like great and like some of the characters coming to the other side like coming to our side i like those and we, we saw those backstories i like that i like the aspects of characters from the original world well like back like 2000 years i like seeing them in those in that era and like it, seeing their own story and how, how they felt about like senku and like sukasa the cult fight right so um some of the episodes well a lot of the episodes kind of are like eh, whatever but some of those episodes kind of hit so i'm gonna give this show i'm gonna give the season roughly like a 6.5 or like a 7 and like these like ratings now that i'm coming to think about it they're like kind of different from like my anime list ratings um so yeah i might have to like change those around uh but yeah 6.5 somewhere around there next slime season 2 part 1 and part 2 or 1 cooler 2 all right season one of slime slime for me was a personally uh slow start i was like <sighs> i was asleep during the first season 
I decided to stick around. Like, it took me, like, a couple of months to, like, finish it. Like, season one of Slime. Like, this was before season two aired. Um, I realize I'm a bit all around the place, but, um, besides that, um, Slime, it, like, the first quarter of Slime, first, like, half of season one was kind of mid. I didn't really like it. I thought it was too basic. It was too generic. I was like, eh, this show's not for me, but I decided to, uh, continue and bro like the last like few episodes were i loved it like i loved um the part where uh rimuru had to go to the kids and like you know diablo his introduction and like all these demons and all these other characters that start to show up i really enjoyed that so then when season two came around i loved it because we got to the introduction of like so many characters so many other demons other parties characters that are stronger than Rimuru which we already really didn't have much of uh, aside from like Milam who was like stronger than Rimuru but like when we start getting introduced like all these demons and all these other characters and like Rimuru actually actually struggling and it was an all fun and go lucky I really enjoyed that and so I started reading the manga after season two uh, well after like um after like episode 15 or so and bro, I'm loving it. I haven't read like I haven't read it since uh, uh like chapter 87 or so of the manga. But bro, I'm gonna get back into it because a, a lot of the chapters are stacked up. So yeah, that uh, season two of Slime was vastly different from season one. I'm gonna give it like a I would give it like a solid nine. Honestly, solid nine. It was great. I loved it. Next up, Reason Reason B Zero Season Two Part Two. And I don't care what anyone says. Part two of season two of ReZero was the best portion of ReZero, period. Better than season two, the first half, better than season one. Because season two, uh, part two, it was just straight dialogue. And I loved it. It was straight dialogue, straight making moves for Subaru, straight development, straight backstory, straight everything. It was great. I loved it. A lot of people found it boring but bro i live for that dialogue that's my type of shit. so yo i i fucking loved it i loved it it was great it was great and like the ending to scene two it was perfect it was perfect i loved reason season two part two there's not really much i can say about that without going on a rant all right so scene two part two of ReZero, i'll give like a it was like a 9.5 out of 10 like these isekais this this year were amazing. Great. Next up, Wonder Egg Priority. All right. Next up is quintessential quintuplets. And bro, bro, I love this show. I love me and my rom coms. Season one was great. I, I loved it. Animation, amazing. Uh, season two, it was also great. I watched that as I was airing, and um, yeah, the studio. A lot of people didn't really like the studio change. The studio change, personally, I loved it. I loved the art style change. At first, I wasn't really on board with it because you know, you know. Uh, but season two, it really grew on me. The art style and. It was great. The content was even better than season one because we already got the setup of the characters and, you know, the, 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 the dynamics that we had with each other. Um, so scene two just continues to evolve on that. And at, like after scene two, I was like, OK, it's time for me to read the manga. And I finished the manga and I'm not really the happiest person when it comes to the ending. But I'm not going to say that here. And I can't wait for the movie that's going to come out soon. Hopefully they have an anime ending, maybe. I'm not going to tell you who I like the most, because that would probably be spoiling it for some of y'all, but a lot of y'all probably read the manga, but I'm not going to say anything either way. But either way, I would give that probably like a solid uh, 9, 9.5 out of 10. I just love that type of shit. All right, moving on. All right, next up we have Beastars Season 2. Now, Beastars Season 2 I loved it since the jump because the opening is done by Yo Sobi. Um, great, my favorite, like basically duo, my favorite music producers and ever, bro. I love these. I love, I love the opening and the ending because I love these guys. 
and uh the show itself it was phenomenal uh we had great developments from the relationships of the characters there's something that I, that I wasn't as happy with like between like the main two but there was some great characters there's some great uh developments from characters such as louis and uh with his like father and like with the entire group like the world of v stars is so uh it's so great at displaying how it would be um how it would be if like animals were like in a kind of like human-esque type of source uh society and like how their um dynamics would work and how um like the mindsets of the characters would be i love like dialogue the monologues within the characters they were always great in like season one because in season two continue to build on on top of those uh developments and it was it produced a great product i would give season two of b stars like a nine out of ten all right next up my hero season five i dropped this halfway through because be honest i'm not the biggest my hero fan i i don't think i ever will be um hence why i dropped it because i watched season one through four and i couldn't remember half the characters names if i'm being honest and i really don't give a shit about this show i really don't i really couldn't give less of a shit. and season five i was like i'll continue on because people are really hyping it up hyping up the war arc in the manga so i might as well continue might as well watch it since i'm stuck here for seasons uh, four seasons but then season five came around and it was just it was horrendous uh i dropped it midway through because i knew how it was going to turn up and surprise surprise i saw a lot of reaction channels on youtube that were watching season five and like the overall uh opinion of the community as a whole and it was dog it was dog the animation was bad it didn't really match up with the manga because i know a lot of manga fans of my hero complain about the art not like compa complaining about the show not being faithful to the manga which is like a little bullshit they think like it has to be perfect one in one with the manga which it doesn't obviously it doesn't have to be but it has to sustain some sort of the same weight that the manga holds right you can't say people are complaining about stuff like the animation of my hero season 5 if it doesn't hold the same weight as the manga or some sort of the same weight as you did when reading it in the manga like i saw some shigaraki scenes it was like his hand or something uh i'm not too sure which exact panel it was but like when i saw like the manga and anime i'm like like the uh comparison that someone made i was like damn bro what is that what is that that literally doesn't look the same and i'm not just talking about the animation that i don't like i'm talking about the actual story i i really don't care about the story of my hero if i'm being completely honest uh really never have i don't know why i continued watching it i'm gonna i'm gonna stop on this show and just move on to the next show i'm just gonna give the show like a two out of ten all right let's move on tokyo revengers now tokyo revengers i really enjoyed uh the first couple of episodes when they first aired um and then i continued watching them. like bro this is actually really great and then i went on to read the manga all right i went on to even read the manga and i fucking love the manga uh, a, a couple of the stuff that happens in like the later arcs are questionable and i'm not really that the biggest fan of but i'm caught up to the manga and uh the anime when i rewatched it uh yeah i i was really annoyed by some of the character decisions that I wasn't really annoyed by the first time because like, i i rewatched like the episodes a ton of times all right um with like reaction channels and whatnot and uh yeah i don't know it really it really it, it, it was getting annoying and um i started enjoying the anime less and less obviously that's not really proper uh way to convey my feelings on the anime when i first watched it blind um because when i first watched it, it was probably like a, a solid nine oh you know that's like a good nine but then uh as i like started to rewatch it and like when i read the manga and saw like the how like the manga did it versus the anime i know i'm really like like sometimes i, I get kind of weird with that uh i don't think it's weird um what some people might say it is so i'm just gonna say like the tokyo avengers anime it's like 
I would give it like an eight. It moved down for me as I started to see like the character decisions and like the flaws of like the story. I'd give it like an eight. All right, to your eternity, to your eternity. This show is great. I loved it. Uh, there was one arc in a couple of episodes that I was kind of annoyed with. Episode like 14, 15, 16, like around there, uh, with like, you know, some of the stuff that happened. It wasn't really as good as like the previous arcs, but nonetheless, this show is phenomenal. I was contemplating whether I should not read the manga or not, but then I decided to wait for the anime, and season two has been announced, I believe. Uh, announced, I believe. So yeah, I don't have to go and read the manga. And this show has a really deep story. The emotions, um, th they hit. Bro, the characters are awesome. The story, uh, the OST was really good. I haven't read the manga, but I feel like this show was really faithful to like how manga readers envisioned uh, this anime to come out. So yeah, I'll give this show. It was almost. It was almost gonna be my anime of the year until another anime came along which i'll talk about later in the video but i'll give this anime like a 9.5 wait did i give another show like a 10 or something i hope not I'll give it like a 9.5 probably actually yeah i give it like a 9 i give it a 9 um yeah great show i recommend to you guys to watch it uh great moving on all right, this next show is kind of complicated to display how I feel about it. Nagatoro. Ah, oh, man. All right. So here's my deal. So I read the manga before the anime came out. I was caught up to the manga. And I was annoyed by the characters very much. I was annoyed by the characters and how it, uh, the story went. I, I just wasn't really feeling it. But, oh, man, I don't know. I, I kept reading it for some reason. I just kept reading it because it, it, it was good. Something about it was so addicting to keep on reading and keep on reading that <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I enjoyed it, but then when the anime came along, it really pulled out my hatred for the show through the voice, like the great voice acting through the uh, Nagatoro's Sumire Us Usaka. Uh, she ha she did an amazing job voice acting and <laughs> like the overall great animation and production that went through. Uh, that went behind the animation of the show it really took out my hatred for some of the stuff that goes on early on and then later on it gets like better and better but like even now like i'm caught up well i'm a few chapters behind and i'm still like annoyed by the characters uh but i still read it like i don't know i still i, I still read it um but don't get me wrong i still hate some of the that goes on and hate some of like the character tropes that happen so I would give this manga, the anime, I mean, the anime, not the manga, the manga, the anime, I would give it like a four, honestly. I, it, like, it was a great anime, but like, great, great animation of the manga, great, it was very faithful, it, was, it went above and beyond. <laughs> but I was so annoyed, so I can't give it a good score. Uh, I'm gonna give it a four. I'm gonna give it a four. Alright? Yeah, it was really a chore to sit through, like, the episodes, I'm not gonna lie. But I was so annoyed. Anyways, next up is Higa Hero, and um, this is probably one of the least popular shows from the list. Actually, not well from my list personally. It's probably one of the least, I'd say, uh, least like watched. Cause this show, it was good. It was good for like the first half, first three quarters of the show, and then after, I'm like, eh. some of the decisions, some of the stuff that was happening, I'm like that's not it chief that's not it uh some of the characters that uh, made some bad decisions in the show that i didn't really like didn't really make sense it wasn't really realistic because it was realistic for the most part uh through the show given the initial description of the show um the decisions that were made later on <sighs> like from the main character the main character is great but like some of the other characters Eh, not so great not so they didn't really make sense their emotions didn't really make sense i couldn't really relate but it, but it was it was a pretty decent show i would say so i'm gonna give this show like a seven i'll give it like a seven i enjoyed it for the most part next up we have vv an anime original yep an anime original it was fantastic i'm sure you guys have seen it 
if you guys haven't bro you're in for a treat this this show had a great opening had a great ending both in terms of the music and the story the characters the voice acting the sound design the fights everything was top notch everything shout out to wit for giving us such an amazing anime some of the stuff that happened though was a bit dull uh some of the some of the stuff like very little parts of the episode on like uh can we like speed this up or like i, I don't know like I, i'm a bit weird when it comes to that sort of stuff i'm not really um the biggest on mecha shows like i don't really like mecha shows and like some of the parts when they're it wasn't really mecha but it had like it would like the i don't know how to say it it's not really mecha but there's something about this show that i don't know something some parts felt a bit flat to me but like when i rewatched it like i really i really started enjoying like the, the overall structure more and some of the stuff that i didn't really like the first time they really uh, they made me like realize during like the second and third time like why they were important so i'll give the show it's like an, it's like an 8.5 for like a 9 somewhere in between there i would give it like a high high 8 it was like a 8.8 .8 or something like that it's a great show all right i'm sure a lot of people would say it's an it's anime of the year but not mine quite yet the finale of fruits basket season three it was one core unlike the other two seasons which were two cores 25 episodes and this was perfect it had a great ending to the show great wrapping of the characters their own internal conflicts that they had it was it was great it was great um it was great and obviously the animation was beautiful as ever i'm sure the fruits basket manga fans from back in the day are ecstatic at the 2019 2020 2021 seasons it was uh, it was amazing i love this show i started watching it during like the airing of season two and i like binged like the entirety of season one and i had to wait weekly for season two and three but bro this was a treat if you guys haven't watched it and you guys like your uh you guys like your rom-coms i would like actual like related emotions story um and like situation that the characters have went through bro it was it was a great treat it was a great treat i highly recommend you guys to watch it if you guys haven't already so i'm sure you guys have heard it because it's literally one of the highest anime on mal not that mal determines how good an anime is but since it's up there and usually mal users have shit taste in anime but you guys know that you need to watch it link click isn't really an anime it's donghua which is a chinese anime basically chinese animation but I decided to include it here anyway, since I don't really watch Dongwa. It was great. And, uh, you know, I really enjoyed it. Uh, so I decided to just include it. Because Dongwa's aren't really that popular. Link Click is a great time travel-esque anime. It was a really densely packed uh, anime. It was great. It had a great anime opening and ending. And it had a great ending to the show. All right it really you could really tell like the authors uh okay i think this is an anime original i don't think author is the right word the script writers really knew what they were doing and the overall production was great for me personally if some uh, moments fell a bit flat to me and didn't really hit me hard uh some moments did obviously but this show really knew what it was doing and it really didn't have many flaws honestly i would give this show like um 8.3 the reason why i didn't give it a higher score is because some of the moments i'm not gonna lie they were a bit eh, they were a bit boring to me i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie they were a bit boring to me they don't really uh pull me in as hard as they meant to uh i believe like a lot of other people like they it's like a 10 out of 10 show for me personally it's not really it's like an 8.3 but bro the ending of the show is really the strong suit honestly it, it had a great ending and i can't wait for season two if there is going to be one i think there actually is one i know there's a, a japanese dub coming so if you guys aren't used to chinese voice acting which threw me off at first um yeah just watch the japanese dub when it comes out it's great if you guys haven't watched the show Anime, anime of, of, the, of year. the year odd taxi what can't i say that was brilliant about this show honestly i was gonna actually make a video 
saying why Odd Taxi is the anime of the year and anime of the year and why you guys should watch it. But I didn't really like the product, so I just scrapped the whole video because I couldn't really bring out the true essence that makes Odd Taxi uh, Odd Taxi so great through like my video. I didn't really think I did justice. But bro, let me just let me just uh, talk about it real quick. Story, it's S tier. It's fuck a ten out of ten story, and this show really uh, you, it makes use of the characters, makes use of the dialogue, and makes use of like the environment that the characters are in. Really bring out the human, uh, human and realistic uh, dialogue that they had. All right, I don't know if that made sense. What I meant to say was the environment really brought out the human uh, nature uh, through the dialogue and the characters and you could really tell how much thought and effort the script writers put into this to make it seem as realistic as possible and really uh, pull you in because like what I said a lot about these other shows is that they didn't really know how to draw in um, and make you pay attention for some of these like new characters like let me talk about episode four and I spat everywhere episode four let me talk about that real quick okay so we had this character uh named tanaka and basically he had like an addiction with buying gacha uh and like uh in-game purchases within this gacha game so we got like a flashback that um basically draws out the roots of where this addiction came from and it was due to him being lonely in class it's not really that he wanted to stand out it was more so that he wanted to compete with this other kid in his class. Uh, basically, they collected erasers. Both of them, they competed. But it was only in his mind that they really uh, uh, competed with each other. And he basically one day wanted to like really show off to his classmates. And like really like make them impressed. Because they were really impressed by this other classmate. Uh, due to like his collection of erasers. Um, and he b bid for an eraser with this other person. Uh, like not this other classmate he just bid with this random person online and he won the bid by using his dad's money um and his dad had no idea about it obviously he stole his dad credit card because who which kid doesn't do that and he won the bid but the item never came in and uh the item that he wants in this gacha game uh, is like a, a, a dodo which is the same thing that the same eraser that he wanted as a kid it was a dodo eraser so then he felt like it was his uh, basically mission to uh, collect this uh, uh, this dodo in the game because he couldn't do so in uh, in real life back in the day. And once he finally got it, uh, he was like you know all emotional because like this guy really this guy really used a lot of his his dough to buy this when he was like an adult. He was like super addicted to it like you know eh, he wasn't getting sleep. He wasn't feeding his bird, his pet bird. His pet bird died. Um, he, he wasn't really doing uh, like good at his job. His uh, co-workers like noticed him like blacking off, like being tired and like being angry and stuff like that. So yeah, this guy was struggling. And then once he got to Dodo, so basically the main character is named Otakawa. He's a taxi driver. And basically Otakawa, he, uh, he almost hit this guy. And this guy, uh, uh, he, this guy quickly moved out the way with his car because he was just standing in the middle of the street and he dropped his phone down the water and then when he got his phone back he went to go fix it and you know he checked if he had the dodo if he claimed it and he didn't claim it so now he's like really pissed at Otakawa for making him do that and he like he's about to kill this guy all right he's about to kill him and this on top of like the all the other storylines all these other characters all these unrelated situations that seem unrelated at first they all come uh, come connecting together like near the end and you're like whoa this is amazing this show is phenomenal all right not to mention like the fantastic ost the numerous plot twist it's it's just a great show i hear there's a movie coming out uh well i know there's a movie coming out on april 1st of next year which i'm excited about because the ending while it left me satisfied, I really wanted more. I really wanted more. And I really wanted them to conclude this story. Because it was finished, but it was kind of an open-ended ending, open ending. So, 
yo i'm so ready for this movie and this show is a 10 out of 10 anime of the year no doubt about that next up we have kobayashi a wholesome show what season two i believe it's been like one in one year and a, one and a half years since i watched season one and um not gonna lie i was kind of bored by season one i was kind of like bro all they're doing is just living life like normally there's no real conflicts because these are these guys are literally dragons they could solve any problem bro they're op what other problems do they have then they started really talking about the mental conflicts that uh, that uh the dragons have and how their life worked and how they felt about uh, interacting with humans how they grew up not wanting to interact with humans at least for the most part and then you really see all these different personalities within the, like this these different characters and that's when i start to see like the appeal of this show and going into scene two having known that i was loving the show i loved the show season two was amazing the opening is a banger i really learned to appreciate the, the show uh from season uh starting for, on season two and then so i think if i rewatch season one i would love it but season two that that was amazing i would give that show like a solid all at 8.5 to 9 somewhere around there next up is komi san komi san can communicate this show had a great animation it went above and beyond um for the manga readers which i was one of well technically i am not caught up with the manga i read about like 60 70 chapters uh before stopping because the anime was coming out and because i didn't really have the time to do so and i'm glad i did because this anime it, it was great it was great it was like almost like a perfect ad uh, adaptation of the manga uh which is already <laughs> pretty great which is kind of questionable how they're going to do it because the manga really has a lot of text um despite being a, a rom-com but bro this anime really this anime really did a great uh, being faithful to the manga and yeah i can't wait for season two which has already been announced apparently uh uh, it's set for like 2022. I don't exactly remember what month, but I'm gonna watch it. Nah, I'm not gonna read the manga. I'm just gonna wait for the anime to come out, and then I'll probably like read the manga or something like that. Either way, I'd give this show a good 8, 8.5. It was great, wholesome. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, which you probably have, I highly recommend you go check it out. The world's greatest assassin. Now, this show, a lot of people didn't really care to check out. I wasn't. It wasn't really on my radar. I really didn't know much about it. The only reason I checked it out because I saw like uh, the title, which is cool, World's Greatest Assassin. I'm like, okay. And mainly because I saw the opening. The opening is, oh my God, that opening is amazing. I love that opening. And that's really the real reason I wanted to check the show out. But I'm glad I watched the show because it, it was really a solid, well put together show. Uh, the ending wasn't that great. It left on like a cliffhanger, but the, uh, a little before that it was kind of like an anticlimactic uh, a climactic uh battle but it was overall a really solid show i wouldn't really recommend it if you guys haven't seen uh, or not really a fan of like the isekai genre genre if you guys think it's generic this one it's somewhat generic but it's also kind of refreshing in a sort of sense because like the mc it's not really he's not really like the same as a lot of the other mcs and but like a lot of these side characters are kind of like you know gen like tropey um trope filled characters so those are just a few things that i want to say if you guys are um thinking about checking the show out but other than that bro this show the show is pretty solid i would give it like an eight solid eight solid eight really no major complaints about the show personally all right now lastly uh let's just talk about the the two shows that i'm really watching that are currently airing uh in the season demon slayer uh i'll first talk about that demon slayer this season so far obviously mogan train if you guys haven't seen that kind of mad that they really like made like an episode version of the mogan train arc i feel i felt it was unnecessary but demon slayer so far it's only like three episodes in um it's all right it's it's pretty good i really enjoyed seeing the one this this arc um at first season two so far it hasn't really been the greatest i'm not gonna lie it's kind of been like a little uh, a lot of unnecessary dialogue between characters unnecessary interactions that 
they could have avoided uh, and um, made it kind of like a little boring uh, I'm not gonna lie in some parts so yeah I'm gonna give this season so far honestly like a seven seven out of ten yeah it's 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 demon slayer but not as good as season one all right I'll just say that the opening though is a banger and the ending is pretty good too and it has its good moments but yeah I would give this show so far a seven out of ten last but definitely not least we have Osama ranking and um uh it basically translates to ranking of kings and this show um this show is really something special the mc og this is my guy bro this is my guy best boy hands down you just want to root for him if you guys haven't seen the show you just want to root for this guy all right basically th this guy is the kindest guy uh he's adorable bro he's adorable i'll, I'll put a picture of the screen uh on the screen um of the main guy bro because this guy he's great bro the story is really unfolding so far like i'm only about seven episodes in uh to the show and it's only got like 11 episodes out so far it's it's set for 23 episodes which is dope because i'm loving this show i love it at first glance you might think that this show is pretty like it's pretty simple it's pretty simplistic and in a way it is in a way it is but the story really starts to unfold and unpack during the latter half uh of uh like what i've watched and um i can really can't wait for more because there's really some like m mysteries that come with like the main character and like other characters throughout the show and there's like a lot of mysteries that you want to see that get unpacked the main two characters they're they're amazing um really lovable characters and honestly who knows maybe this might be anime of the year because i was actually thinking that to myself when i was watching this show that this show might surpass odd taxi by the time it's finished airing uh, but we'll see and i believe this show has like a manga actually i think the anime might have surpassed the manga like in terms of content maybe i, I think i don't know if that's true i think i may be confusing this with another, another show but i think the anime might have surpassed the manga <clears throat> in terms of the content so we'll see how that uh plays out and hopefully this show has a good ending and it doesn't really end up slowing down the momentum that's currently um really bringing i would give the show so far a 9 a 9.5 it's oh man i love this show i love this show this mc is probably probably one of my favorites of the year honestly honestly yeah it's a great show i would highly recommend you guys to watch if you guys haven't already but yeah, that's my opinion on the anime that I've seen this year and what I would rate them. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about my opinions and how you guys would rate these shows and your opinions on my opinions or your opinions on the show and not my opinions. Yeah, I don't know. What, I don't know what I was talking about. I was rambling for like half the video, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have. Make sure to like, make sure to comment, make sure to subscribe, and I'll be pumping out more videos hopefully soon. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.